you try to bring the superstar of Indian cinema, you try to bring Mr. Rajni Kant. What went wrong? I thought by him coming, we'll fast forward. Then I got the message that probably he's got his other priorities. Rajnivas standing there for three hours every day, Monday to Thursday to listen to people. Then every weekend, I was there for five years. Not a single weekend was spent languishing or lazing in the bed. 6 a.m. Uh, and then 7 a.m. I was out of the team to look at places which needed attention. Mm. When I went to Yanam chapter, I was welcomed by black balloons. Why? What have I come for? Yeah. I've gone to see what amenities, what can we do better? My God, I was entertained by black balloons saying, go back, Kiran Bedi, go back. What have I come for? Welcome to Chennai Live 104.8. My name is Rajiv and this is India's first and only digital talk station. Well, this is your voice, this is your vision. And in today's world, it's quite common for all of us to speak about this one important topic, which is the strength of a woman, the role of a lady in today's society and her success in every single field. Uh, this, my friends, in today's world is very, very important. But today we talk about all of this, but a topic that we know, a conversation that you have never, ever heard. In fact, you ought to know this, that India witnessed a powerful tsunami in the year of 1972. And my guest today, amongst her various achievements, she's India's first IPS officer. Besides that, there's so much more, including being uh, the 24th Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. And she basically needs no title to be a leader. Working towards <laughs> empowerment, working towards education, working towards a better future. I am extremely honored and pleased to have with me Dr. Kiran Bedi. Hi, how are you, ma'am? Very well, thank you. Now, I must tell you one thing. You spent a lot of time in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, obviously. So, Vanakam, you're here. Ah, Vanakam. Vanakam. Sir, ma'am, you know, I, you spent a lot of time in Puducherry. Uh, it was your home for five years. So before we go into how homely was your home, uh, let's talk a bit about, uh, you know, how did you adapt yourself to a Tamil culture? Because that's a completely different culture. You've been in different parts of India. How did the, the, the South or the Tamil treat you, ma'am? Oh, they loved me and I loved them. I think I belong more to that place now because it's so cool, it's so clean, it's so green, it's so fresh. You see the blue sky there. In Puducherry, you see the blue sky. You don't see it here. I don't see it in Delhi. Mm. But I saw every day clear blue sky. What else do you want? Well, I think you made the clear blue sky. It was just a sky. You put the color and you made Puducherry blue. No, 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 no. <laughs> I only cleaned it out on the ground. I groomed it. <laughs> but I, I went under a clean blue sky. And we only tried to help maintain it blue, but we cleaned it up below. Fantastic. I mean, look at the report that you did from the year of 2016 to 2021. Uh, we see a lot of improvements, be it the marine life, be it uh, the, the cleanliness, be it the economy, be it uh, the safety that you brought to it. How would you govern, um, how would you rate your governance in terms of success, results? Now, this is a teamwork. It's well proven it's a teamwork. You went through a lot of challenges, Dr. Kiran Bedi. Uh, would you say today, 10 on 10, 9 on 10, your report card for yourself? And you're very strict on yourself. I know that. So uh, what, what would be the numbers you give yourself? I don't rate myself. You're above ratings, ma'am. <laughs> it's for others to rate. I don't rate myself. I can say I could not have done more. I agree with That's you. That's how I can rate. I gave it all 24 hours. Just the minimum I needed to sleep. My phone was a WhatsApp number for entire 14 lakh population and plus visitors which were coming. So imagine what more can I do? Making my own phone a WhatsApp number, mm -hmm. making my email available to anybody writing to me in confidence. Rajneva standing there for three hours every day, Monday to Thursday to listen to people. Then every weekend, I was there for five years, not a single weekend was spent languishing or lazing in the bed. 6 a.m. and then 7 a.m. I was out of the team to look at places which needed attention, which were crying for attention. That's it. So all I can say is I could not have done more. That's and I, true. 
and I'm pretty sure Dr. Kiran Bedi, every single person in Puducherry, whether it is the res residents, whether it's the tourists, they know that you gave your all and we might never have a better governor than what you gave us. The governance was fearless. It truly was fearless. And you fought so much. It, it is a question that a common man will ask politicians. We are asking you, we are asking the management that when someone came in to serve, when someone came in for no personal interest, why so many barriers? Why so many potholes? Why so many barricades? And why was there no team? You say, you say team, ma'am. You had a small team, but there was a bigger team who didn't want you to grow. There was a bigger team who installed and ensured that you were not able to give you 100% at all and the execution was not there. Does that hurt you? I can tell you the Puducherry, Pondicherry or Puducherry, I think lost a golden opportunity. Here was a person in me who's come from North, Northern India, not knowing Tamil, mm. but totally dedicating herself willingly every moment of her career there and wanting to clean up, make it safer and prosperous Puducherry was my mission mode, right? Mm. All you had to do is the political class had only to join hands. Mm. That's all. Mm. When I told them, let's do it together. And imagine if Lieutenant Governor and the Chief Minister mm. or even the Chief Secretary joining me, because if you see the chapter in the book where the Chief Secretary also did not join me, he, he sided with the chief minister in not joining me in the field. There was no competition. There's no competition between left and governor and chief minister. He is an elected person of the people. I have been appointed by the president of India. There's no conflict and I'm not standing for elections. Mm. I'm not going to stay back. I don't know the language. And I, I would need, I've left a home behind. I need to go back to my own work. Where was the competition? All it needed was a collaboration. Believe me, if the political class had joined hands with me and the chief secretary then, of course, he, he got transferred and I had to get him transferred and get a new chief minister secretary. Had we joined hands, we could have offered a model of collaborative community based governance. And we had the money. It's not that we didn't have the money. And secondly, if we had spent better, we would have earned, got much more money from the government of India because the prime minister would have given us with open house. We did not hold panchayat elections mm -hmm. deliberately. Had we done that, we would have got money for all villages and rural areas. But because we don't have the local body elections, money for rural development doesn't come. Because that money from panchayat ministry comes only if you have an elected village council. Mm -hmm. But I must tell you, had we worked together, we would have made Puducherry a model of governance which we could have offered to the rest of the country the rest of the world where elected representative and appointed a person can work together and i had no intention to take the sunshine away from them i said let's be under the sunshine together let's bask it out together let's clean up together let's bring all the prospect and there were lots of donors around so if we were short of any government money donors were willing to pitch it as they did in the water rich puducherry all water rich came through donors the mrfs and the lucas and the, all the others who had the oxygen the uh, inox who were guzzling water they came back to put back water but at their own cost i think we lost a golden opportunity and in the process while i came back to my home which i had to come back they all lost all of them who did not join hands with me all lost, all lost, and they're out back to the barracks. Instead, had we, and I wrote to him, wrote to the political class, they instead started to obstruct my movement as a lieutenant governor in Puducherry, obstructing me, saying, Why you don't go? Why? Let's go. Let's cl get the pond cleaned up. Let's get the drains cleaned up. Let's, let's make sure that the land is not grabbed of the poor. But it didn't. They were competing with me. On the contrary, demanding my recall every second day, every third day, I would have given them the best traffic management. I had the experience. I would have given them the best policing system. I had the experience. But I don't know why did it not strike them that she's no competition. Let's why not use her? Had they used me fully, I would have felt better utilized because I was there to give, not to take. Mm. So I think we lost a golden opportunity of offering a model, exactly the kind of model I offered in prison management, 
where I offered a 3C model, collective, corrective, community-based, which got the Raman Maxese Award a Nobel Prize. We would have won another Nobel Prize in good governance where people and elected all work together. I tell you, we would have got it. And we would have become a model and rest of the cities would have been said, go and see how Puducherry works, go and see. Prime Minister would have said people, but, but there's a but. Ma'am, uh, why would you think there was a resilience? Today, I'm asking you honest questions, ma'am. I've read your book. You held your heart in your hand and you've written things that would be very hard for someone to say. Uh, is it uh, the fact that you brought a police mindset into a political system? Or is it the fact that they could not see a lady, an outside lady coming into their own union territory? Was that the reason? Or was it there was honesty on this side which they've not seen before? And here they're asking you all the time, what's their benefit? in you serving, in you working, in you cleaning, in you starting those, uh, those stall projects, in you ensuring that money is safe. What's their benefit? These were the questions. You brought a police mindset into a corrupt political atmosphere. Was that the problem? Could, not, could you not win hearts and minds because of that? I think they saw in me what were they losing, not what they were gaining. So I think they were looking at me as a loss to them, yeah. rather than a strength to them. When I kept saying, I'm your strength, I'm with you. And I also said, I will give you full credit. I'm not here for any credit. I've had enough. I have had enough. I don't need any more. But I would like to see Puducherry, the best unit territory, better than Goa, but a, a tourist resort where this becomes a destination for every tourist. But I think they always felt insecure. Rather than looking me as a bonus achieved, they thought it was a subtraction for them. You know, it, it might hurt you, but honestly, it hurts the people of Puducherry, hurts the people of Tamil Nadu a lot, lot more. But would you should have or should you have handled the people a little more differently? The people who you were trying to rope in with you, the people who had to be a part of this, people who had to lead from the front. Today, given a chance, would you start the relationship differently, ma'am? No, no. no. See, I succeeded because people were on our side. Mm. No, I didn't do it alone. The, the, the team, the team, the, 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 the other MLAs and all of them. The I said they refused to come. Mm. What man? Only way to manage them was to stop doing it and leave it to them. Mm. They only had knew one way of let's do it our way, their way. What was their way? What was their way? There was absolute extravagance. Mm. There was mafia rule. There were organized crimes. There were a lot of individualism. There was a lot of corruption. Let us do a lot of diversion. It was either their way or our way. Our way was um, uh, uh, prudence. Our way was financial prudence. Our way was honesty. rule of law, transparency, accountability, accessibility, visibility, mobility, mm. and honesty, and integrity, and authenticity. Well, what do you do? You, you give this up just because you want to be a lieutenant governor? No, I would have returned. Had I not succeeded in doing what I did, and it did with the common man's help and my own team and a lot of good people, including yep. Shivani Arora, they all have played their roles. Individuals have all played their roles and that's why all credits have been given in the book to them, each one of them. They played their roles. Had it not been for them, I would have hung around. In fact, in there's one chapter where I said I threatened to leave. Yes, Within I months, I threatened to leave because I kept cleaning up while people kept making it dirty Purpose. and I threatened them. I'm going back, if you're going to leave, I'm not coming here to clean up the streets. Mm -hmm. I've come here to administer, but cleanliness is one part of it. And things dramatically started to shift. But I had to drive the change. There's no doubt about it. This leaves a question a lot of common men, uh, you know, they say you were a part of this as well, ma'am, where you told the common men, don't speak about the dirt of politics, come and clean it up, be a part of the system and contribute for your country. Do you see common men coming in and being a part of the political uh, ambience, ma'am? Common man is already part of the political system. Mm. Every vote counts. Mm. He's already a part of the, if he starts only saying, I'm only time, one... With due respect, all through, all through, all through, they can be if they are in an organized way. Mm, mm. At the critical time, they have a, a saying, not, none of the above. Supposing you don't like anybody, go and okay. pass, pass nota. Okay. Yeah, why not do nota? I didn't see them agitating for the right thing. They only following the political party for my recall. They only uh, sitting on dharnas for my for my cartoons. You were instead, locked out. Saying, <laughs> yeah. 
and even my lockdown. Yeah. So why can't citizens? Citizens groups have to be active. But I do know there have been some citizens which were very active on environment, like Pradeep Banerjee and the yeah. Pondi cans. Yes, ma'am. And some yes. of them were threatened. Some of them did ba get bashed up. You read the chapter called Black Balloons. Mm. When I went to Yanam chapter, I was welcomed by black balloons. Why? What have I come for? I've come here to see what can be, and it is an aspirational district. By Niti Aayog, it's de declared as a, one of the poorest places. Yeah. I've gone to see what amenities, what can we do better? My God, I was entertained by black balloons saying, go back, Kiran Bedi, go back. What have I come for? Who are you? Why have you come back? Why have you come here? It was, and who did it? The local MLA, who got defeated, who finally is out of the scene now. But these are the, what are they representing people for? If they're going to be actually holding this interest of the people back. Mm. So, and what was I doing? Nobody was being heard. It was totally like people so scared. They were so scared, even of stating their own problem. Can you believe it? They could, they were so scared of coming into my WhatsApp group, which I finally created, created of teachers and others. They were scared to be a member of a WhatsApp group. So somebody may go and tell the so local MLA, local MLA, ki ye group mein, he said so and so. People are so scared. So why is fearless governance is where people were afraid also equally certain areas, like for instance, Yanam, which is fear, which was uh, an aspirational district. And you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, it's got better. They've got a, they finally, uh, a particular MLA has got elected from there by very thin majority, but he finally made a break from the past. I got, I saw extravagance of expenditure when people don't have water, clean water, extravagance of expenditure on some flower shows and some other shows. You don't have money to do this and you are spending so much of money on flower shows for what? Why? Mm. Nobody are they question, nobody dare question. You know, it is the same minister from Yana who was also health minister. Mm. He kept the doctors divided into unions, kept many vital positions. It's all in the book. So I'm not yeah. saying anything out of the book. Yeah. And I'm decided with all evidence and basis and documentation. He kept the doctors divided. And every time I brought them together during COVID time, he broke them up again. He preferred them to be united. So the point, and then it was terrible, oh, yeah. And every time you left uh, Puducherry, they ensured there's some problem. I mean, whenever you left, they would not communicate with you, but somehow you threw the well wishes and through the people, you'd get to know there was a problem. And you'd be aghast, like, why didn't you tell me what's going on in my own Puducherry, in my own territory? What did they do? Every time I would be away, because the former chief secretary, not the current chief secretary, former chief secretary, whom I got transferred, whom I'm not mentioning his name even in the book, he had sided with the political classes. Mm. And he would use this opportunity to do transfers, mm. whereas service matters were with left and governor. Mm. He would use an opportunity to make transfers. Whose transfers? People who were loved by the, by the officers who were loved by the people. Officers who were performers. Mm. One officer called Mr. Chandrasekhar, mm. known to be in, in Puducherry, who would walk the beach every day, who would get things done, he would talk to people, he would go to RWAs, he would get things sorted out. They caught after him, I was away, he was transferred, for what? Just because he annoyed a particular elected Emily? Because he said, why did you take my permission to speak to the resident welfare associations? He was addressing an RWA assembly. And that local MLA goes to him saying, how dare you? Uh, uh, address the RWA without my permission, without means his permission. Mm. I said, sir, I am a commissioner, municipal commissioner. I'm a municipal commissioner. I'm looking out the problems, what are hearing them. No. And can you believe it? Next day, I was not in town. He was transferred. Whereas you could not have transferred him without my permission. I sent an email to the concerned chief secretary. I said, wait for me to come. Just tell me what's your problem. You cannot hold back. Can you believe it? Because of this, uh, my secretary, my uh, secretary, Mr. Niti Das, OSD then, got a contempt notice. Mm. This Chandrasekhar also got contempt notice. Poor man, Chandrasekhar, had to fight through his own pocket, pay the legal fees for whatever contempt notice he was served, for whatever reason. That's a, a part of history now. But the point is, any officer who would deviate, who would, who would show initiative, be with the people, serve, fulfill the purpose of his service was harassed.
and they would find an opportunity and I had to go on overruling, but it just didn't matter. It was, I think it was not, it was not for me. It was for the officer. You, and do you know that officer lost out on his promotion? He retired on a lower pension. He lost out on his promotion because he, he was held back for many months. He was without work and salary for months together. So what was the larger message? You dare and we will de deal with you. You dare, I'll deal. So daring and dealing. So, so who would dare? How many will be one more Chandra Shekhar's? No, nobody. So I thought they were scaring officers away, also driving them away from the Lieutenant Governor and all the time challenging me. That's different that I kept fighting back the challenge. I kept overcoming it and I kept putting things right. Successfully. But Successfully. why were they harassing? Why should they be harassing officers who are there to perform, mm. to serve the people of Puducherry? That's what the purpose was. Ma'am, I had a chance to read this Bible, read this Bible of truth, read the Bible of strength, read the Bible of governance. And it speaks a lot about exactly how a person should be, handle a team and still stick on your own principles. No matter what the result is, no matter how difficult the journey is, stick on your principles because at the end of it, when you sit back and reflect, you should feel proud and feel content and know that what you did was right. Talking about right, talking about wrong. Uh, I want to ask you about the role of the press in our country. Things have changed, ma'am. And sadly, maybe the involvement or the genuinity of press also has changed. Give me an honest answer. Your take on the press. Don't you think the press should have reported all of this, been a bit more uh, neutral, been a bit more honest, and been a bit more proactive on all, all that's happening? You wouldn't have needed to write this book if they were following you from 2016. No, no. Thanks to them that the book has got the uh, material. Mm. If you notice, whatever was happening was getting reported in the papers. Mm. Mm. Whether it was the Tamil papers or the English papers. Mm. And if you noticed, we I have actually quoted from the papers. Yeah. So yeah. it no and we have was, cuttings of the photos, the headlines, the pictures. Yes. Mm. I think the media was very, very fair for me, if you mm. ask me, because they were reporting things as they were. Mm. Means they were reporting when the politician spoke. Mm. Fine, that's their duty. Correct. But they were also speaking when I was countering. Mm, mm. And I was sending them my messages mm. or my open letters. I think they were reporting as is. Well, uh, you know, I, I read a very interesting article where you had spoken about uh, digital education. You had spoken about that. And you said it's not just having a phone with you or having a smartphone and using a Facebook account is not digital education. It's knowing a lot more, going deeper and controlling that world. So that again is, is, is a brilliant statement. But before we go into the education part of it, you try to pull a rabbit out of the hat. You try to do something which I don't think anyone else could have even tried of doing. You try to bring the superstar of Indian cinema. You try to bring Mr. Rajni Kant into a face, not politics, but a face of goodwill, a face of Puducherry. Lovely idea. And it was a part and parcel of making Puducherry much better. You said it could be the Bengaluru of uh, India, the next Bengaluru of India. What went wrong? What do you think uh, the actor did not may be a hero on the real side of this scheme? What went wrong? What, what do you think? I wanted to, I found he, he was very, very popular. He's so dear, he's loved, he's respected. His word is gospel, his word is God. So <laughs> I thought that if he comes and says, tells people, hey, fast forward construction of toilets in your houses when you have the place to do, or go to the community toilet, don't go to the open open fields to uh, you to to ease yourself. Mm. I thought by him coming, we'll fast forward. Mm. And I did meet get to meet his wife. In fact, his wife's picture is in the photo is in the book. When and when I asked for him, I think he was some somewhere outside the country. Mm. His wife was gracious enough to meet me, and she said she would speak to Rajnikanth. Mm. But when um, after a while, then I got the message that probably he's got his other priorities. Now, he did not tell me why he could not spare time. But his wife was very gracious, we bet. And that's what's reported in the newspapers. But I, if, had he come there, we could have fast forwarded a social message. Sure, of course. But maybe that, sure. was not, that was maybe not his priority to give that kind of a social message. You know, ma'am, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're filled with activity, you're filled with action, you're filled with work. I first wonder, you know, after the job of the governance and now that you're back home, 
Is it something that you are doing which you've not been able to do? Family time? Is, is that what you're enjoying now, ma'am? Are you able to spend time with your family? Do those small things, those sacrifices that you made with all these endless hours, late nights, early mornings? It's a lot of sacrifice that you took in. I don't sacrifice. Mm. I choice. I choose. Love I don't sacrifice <laughs> by nature. I make my choices. Mm. And I enjoy thorough family support. I make my choices. Family is so integral to what I do right. Mm. And they are the strength behind my doing right and do my doing maximum. Mm. And the family and the family support system I've created, which is God's grace. So mm. earlier in the earlier years, it was my mother. Mm. It was my mother who was bedrock support, my family and my mother. But later on, it's been my later on my family support system, which I created. Many of the staff members I have in my house are those who were with my mother. So during that time, so they are part of my family. Their children have been educated. I've looked after them. They all have a house to live in. They all have a safety net. So point is, I created family support. So I don't make sacrifices. I make choices. choices. Daily. <laughs> Even your visiting you, connecting with you is a choice. Ma'am, it's a lovely choice. It makes me feel very, very special, <laughs> to be honest. Talk to me about besides the IPS, besides the development, besides the governance, who's Dr. Kiran Bedi? We've seen you. You don't need to have a role to be a leader. You've proven that. So talk to me about today. What are your remaining desires? What are your wishes? What's your next goal? What is your next ambition for society, city, country? What do you want to see? Well, I give myself, if I make my day useful. I don't have those long goals where would I, I didn't know. Did I know I'll be left in Governor Puducherry one day? <laughs> but once I got it, I gave it all. Mm. Mm. Once it's over, I start to write the book. Mm. Once I've written the book, I'm giving the book the wind that requires now. Because the, now the book demands a wind. Mm. It demands a wind under it, beneath its sail. Now it's demanding that book be shared. Mm. Mm. The concepts of leadership, and success be shared. That, that's what's demanding. That's what the publisher is uh, being asked to. Please provide us the book, the concepts of leadership, etc. I'm now giving it the wind. After all, I've written it to be read. Correct. I've written up to be absorbed. I've written up to be used. Mm. I've written up, written it to be used as an educational training material. So exactly. it's it's not closure. In fact, it's the beginning of a whole new life where now you are ensuring. Not that you want to market. Look, I've donated the proceeds of the book. So it's not for me a profit organizing. Mm. I've donated to causes in Puducherry, royalties. I've donated to my two foundations, the Navjoti India Foundation and India Vision Foundation. That's it. But now what is in the book, the youth wants to know. Correct. Of so course. if this youth, if these ideas in the book can inspire the youngsters to become strong, courageous, fearless leaders, and good patriotic leaders. I think our purpose is achieved. We, every single IS officer, mm. every single IPS officer, every single public servant has a role to play in shaping the government and serving the people. So if this book inspires any one single public servant to serve better the country and work honestly and courageously, I think the uh, objective of the book is met. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm giving the wind behind it. You have served, not just impacted a public servant, you've impacted the public. And this is not a book to just read. This is a book to study. This is not your life book. This is a life book. I must be honest with you. It's a book to be understood. It's a book to be inspired by and not just read, but enact. Not just, uh, you know, absorb it, but imply it. And this is what this oh. book is all about. It, it really is about oh. all of this. <laughs> that's a great review. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a compliment from you. That's, that's a big pat on my back, ma'am. All right, moving on. Uh, finally, last but not the least, uh, your take on today's India. Uh, you know, you see on one side, there is development. Women are being given the respect they deserve, not desire. They deserve this. They're getting that respect. They're getting the education is coming up. The youth is becoming more powerful. Startups, job employments, all this is being generated. But still on the other side, Corruption, scam, and problems and poverty remains. Uh, your take on today's India? It's two extremes. What's your take on today's India? No more extremes. India is no more into those extremes. Mm. India is a very progressive growth on a very progressive trajectory. Mm. It's got all the opportunities for any level, any person, 
the only that person has to take charge of his life and take responsibilities and take the opportunities in the hands take his own life into his hands and be value work with the head the heart and the hands mm. be not be not afraid to keep the hands and look for only clerical work start earning start learning and start anything you want so become not in job oriented but job giver giving oriented today's yesterday's budget i think it's on the trajectory if we go look at the kind of infrastructure investments which are being made into this country you will see instant results but you'll see results over the years the highways the medical colleges the water in every the gas the kitchen being taken care of i think lots the medic it's a huge investment now in infrastructure i think we need to and opportunities in education scholarships available skills development learn a skill internships fellowships i think they are today available we should not and the technology drive the dig digitization learn digitization any and look knowledge is available with you on google nothing every book is available to do or today on the google so what are you looking for so i would think today be a part of this growth mm. while we may have people who would be the naysayers or holding it back but i think go for now putting your energy and good all your energy back home saying this is my country i am the next for 25 years i have to see uh, uh, india's economy number 1 uh, 25 years from now the atam nirbhar bharat so i think we have no shortage of um, uh, today policies and strategies and investments mm. all we have to do is invest ourselves and hitch ourselves to this investment fantastic <laughs> fantastic all right uh, uh, dr kiran beri conversations can go on and on but finally for the youngsters if you have to recommend one or three books besides fearless governance three books that you want the youth to read because i know you've got a massive library i can spend lifetimes trying to read with think and grow rich connect oh i one book which you all must read which i read as a teenager napoleon my, hill napoleon hill yeah 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 <laughs> there was the one book which i had kept here think and grow rich read it because the moment you start this is my favorite book napoleon hill mm. norman winston eel these you see you can read spiritual books you can read inspirational books like these but these are the books to be read but not just read mark them the way i mark see it's Yeah. Read in and make your notes. See, make those yeah. notes, or or dog dog ear them and go back to them. See, dog ear them so that you can you revisit it. See, dog ear them so that you can go back and revisit. So okay. point is, look for life is just look look at this. For life is just employer. He gives you what you ask, but once you have set the wages, why? you must bear the task mm. so if you set yourself low wages you bear the task but if you set yourself for higher wages then but you life is what you ask yeah. so i think that's the, this what this book inspires you this book must be read after that of course there are many others okay fantastic and ma'am many people do not know that dr kiran bedi has a wonderful voice because she sings so graciously <laughs> so don't worry i would request you to sing if you do oblige but if you say no this is fearless it's not melody i will accept your answer but talk to me about things that keep you going the, the secret behind this energy ma'am it, it's it's immense it is lovely it is extremely viral your energy just catches on to people and uh, please tell me what keeps this energy in the drive on very simple fitness habit mm. walking habit mm. reading habit mm. right eating habit mm. good sleep habit and good company habit habits make it the lady <laughs> correct <laughs> <laughs> and saying no to something wrong Yeah. and saying yes to what is right mm. saying no to what must be said no mm. and living within my means i'm happy with what i have don't need anything more but total gratitude for all that i have with faith in the divine that there's a reason for every day superb fantastic life is so simple we've complicated it we've corrupted it sometimes life is simple live it the right way live it your way and live it the dr kiran bedi way thank you very much uh, dr kiran bedi you've been fantastic and obviously i will go all out my team will go all out 
not to sell the book, but to sell the message, to give the message. We want the message to spread. We want people to understand this life book and imply this. So we'll do that. Uh, finally, your message to our viewers and your listeners, um, what we'd like to tell them for the times ahead, for the India ahead and for the year ahead. Well, if you're looking for leadership lessons, I've summarized them very well for you in the book. Mm. And the key is, how do you groom youth leadership, young leadership? One is the present generation of public servants. Second is the future generation. So we are investing. We must now continuously. So if the future generation is looking for uh, successful leadership, mm. any part of India they may serve, mm. any part, then these are some very important nuggets I've given you in the end. Pick up those, very simple. They're not, they are, the language is different. If the same concept was by Harvard Business Review, they would have probably added another kind of word. Mine is a very simple English word, which is very easy for an Indian to understand. Mm -hmm. so I think if they do, that will make them very successful, happy public servants. And what we really need is those millions of public servants we have, if each one decides to be visible, authentic, public service oriented, patriotic, fearless and courageous and skilled and knowledgeable india will be a india will reach atmanirbharta we'll see a better india a newer india and the strongest india that we will see and uh, dr kiran bedi will we see you in politics active politics again never never well, i'm not i'm not for electoral never, no no never. i'm not oh no 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 electoral politics no <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm certainly happy with administration, but not electoral politics. That's not my nature. <laughs> well, of course, your nature is the trend. Your nature is the vibe. Your nature is unique. It's very, very special. Dr. Kiran Bedi, thank you for being you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the book. And you are a name that will always be inspiring. And we look for some great achievements and more stuff from your side. Thank you very much, Dr. Kiran Bedi. We shall be coming up with the Tamil edition of Fearless Governance as well. Fantastic. The Tamil edition will sometimes come in April. Yeah. Oh, lovely. April 14th is Tamil New Year. So if it bangs on that day. That's we right. We, do it. <laughs> we will do it for the 14th April. Okay, perfect. And three words of Tamil that you like, ma'am. We'll end with that. Three words of Tamil. No, no. Vanakam and Nandri. Thank and Ramba, Ramba, Ramba Nandri. Ramba Nandri. Thank you, madam. Ramba, Ramba Nandri. Unga time ke, unga, unga words ke Ramba Nandri. Thank you, Dr. Kiran Bedi. You are special. You will remain special. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice of you. This is Chennai Live. Radio Redefined.